Hello guys, this is Al from OSC UK and welcome again to a new episode on how to. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon so you can get notified when I publish new videos. And also don't forget to like and share. By sharing, I'll be able to create more content for you. So as you can see from the title, today I'm going to talk about accounting again. Some subscribers have asked me to show how to install accounting on Docker. And this is exactly what I'm going to do today. So the main website for accounting is accounting.com. Again, you can find all the details in the description below. Here you can find support and many other things. This is the actual GitHub for accounting and how to install it on Docker. Even though we're going to use something different. There's also a GitHub from CUDA Labs. And again, description below, you will find all the details. Where is the actual usage, as you can see here, I have modified part of the code in a very simple few lines where you can actually copy and do exactly like I have. And this is the actual part that I've used and I have made up the rest of the code that I'm gonna show you in a second. Then all you gotta do while the installation goes through you go through the ip that you're going to use and the port again i'm not going to use the port 8080 uh, again you can leave it 8080 i'm using 8111 uh, or 8111 whatever you want to use it call it um again don't forget you need to uh, change the password i'm going to use something the uh, generic you can make up with uh, some tools that you can actually download to make up very strong password. Again, as you can see, we're using different ports, but again, only because I know port 8080 is already in use. But all the rest, as you can see, there are only a few lines, about 15 lines. If you remove two, in total, there are 13 lines. So once has been done, let's go back here, for example. Uh, you can find a lot of details on the GitHub, uh, for example, on how to pull the latest accounting image. Here we do in the Cure Labs, but again, you can change with the, uh, the main one from the GitHub page uh, from the uh, accountant. But for simplicity, I'm using this one. Okay. So how you get started, you go to stack, add a new stack, or you create stack, you name your stack, and you go to paste or just copy whatever you can see there again in the description all the information but because it's everything already done on mine i go to the stack i do the editor and i'm going to update the stack you will have deployed the stack and all you got to do now is wait until the installation has been done so as i mentioned before for example for your mysql root password you can actually generate i'm using the last pass uh, chrome extension and over here you can find generate a secure password and here you can actually generate a pretty powerful uh you know very long password you can actually use for for example in the assistance so all you got to do just copy and paste it and replace the one you can see there all right as you can see the actual deployment as finished the container has been created i'm going to click on the logs so i can actually show you part that is important as you can see this little part here where it actually states the mysql information the host name the username the database and the password this is what we're going to use to finish off the installation of accounting i'm going to copy just just this line of the password i do remember the rest so I'm going to open a new tab. I'm going to go to the IP. In this case, it will be 192.168.1227, colon, 8111. For me, for you, will be maybe different, different IP. And I'm going to finish it off. I'm going to choose English. I'm going to go to the next. And here, I'm going to add the database information that you've previously seen on the actual tab. In this case, it's going to be 127.0.01, colon, 3306 username accounting, database accounting, and the password is the long one that you've seen here, okay? That's the one you're gonna put it. But what I'm gonna do now, let's go here. I'm gonna paste a second because 
He actually copied the word, the password as well. So I'm going to copy again by not copying the password part of it. And I'm going to paste here. And all I'm going to do is just press next and just wait. All right. And uh, here we go. This is the third step. We're going to put the company name. In this case, OSC UK, my email address. This is the also the email you're going to be used to log in. I'm going to repeat the same email for, for example, uh, let me copy this and paste it. And I'm going to use uh, an, a generic uh, admin password just for the demonstration. Again, make sure you have a strong password. So once that's been done, I'm going to go to next. And as you can see, the installation has finished. All I got to do now is log in with my details, my email address and the password that I have chosen. And as you can see here, we got a full installation of accounting using Docker with the help of a portainer. And as you can see, you got the incomes, you got the invoices, you got the revenue, customers, just like a normal accounting installation, but running on Docker. At the moment, it's running on an IP. This is only accessible internally or locally, but what you can do for example, on this portainer, I got installed NGX Proxy Manager. Here we go. And thanks to this app, I'm able to create DNS entries that will use DNS to go from IP to domain. I'm going to show you just briefly how I add a local domain. Again, you can add any domain, but make sure you go to your registrar and you actually add the IP address of your server. As I use Cloudflare for this one, I, everything is already been set. All right, so as you can see, I already got three proxies. I'm going to hosts, proxy hosts, and I'm going to add a new domain. I'm going to add proxy host. I'm going to add a domain name here. In this case, I'm going to say accounting.local. Don't forget after you've done that to click on the add. Here we go, the below one, otherwise you won't do it. The IP address of the server, in this case, 192.168.1.227. Again, yours can be different, uh, definitely going to be different. And the port in this case is going to be 8111. I'm not going to add any SSL. As I said, this is just for local and I'm going to press save. Now the entry is there, HTTP only. I'm not doing HTTP, HTTPS. So what I'm going to do now, you can access the entire, you know, the same script rather than using the IP address, using a domain. In this case, a local domain using dot local. And as you can see, it works like charm. All I got to do to log in is to add my credit credentials and just press login and as you can see job is done same installation the difference is you're using a local domain rather than ip address it's up to you so here we go uh, as you can see going back to the accounting everything works fine more details on how to install it and get started don't forget you can go to my accounting uh, youtube video that i made about eight months ago but again the link is in the description below Anyway, guys, thanks so much again for following this small tutorials. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did making it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.